Welcome to Brain Stuff, a production of iHeartRadio. Hey, Brain Stuff, Lauren Vogelbaum here. We've all felt it, the mental fatigue after working a long day, taking finals, or running errands all over town. That tired, dull feeling, like the hinges on your brain are rusty and they creak and groan if you try to recall something or pay attention. When this type of brain drain sets in, regardless of how hard you try to concentrate, you probably find yourself exhausted and unable to fully focus. Is this kind of mental fatigue evidence that you've overworked your brain? Does your brain actually get tired in the same way that your muscles do? And is there any difference between mental fatigue and good old physical exhaustion? And is there any way to prevent it? Of course, your brain isn't a muscle. It does have a bit of muscle tissue, but it's mostly made up of fat. In the brain, electric cells called neurons transmit messages via chemicals. And although the brain isn't a muscle, its cells do use energy to function. The sugar molecule glucose is the brain's primary source of that energy. When glucose enters the brain cells, Organelles called mitochondria convert the glucose into adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, which is a complex organic chemical for storing and transferring energy in cells. A group of researchers from Australia and Belgium thought that the compound ATP could be the key to brain drain. The idea was that when your brain works hard, it uses up all that glucose, leaving you feeling depleted. The lowered glucose levels then raise levels of ATP, which blocks dopamine, that chemical that makes you feel good and keeps you motivated. The study, which was published in the journal Sports Medicine in 2018, concluded that when your brain can't get enough dopamine, you're less likely to stay on task. So even though your brain isn't a muscle, chemically you can tire it out by thinking too much. We spoke with Melanie Greenberg, PhD, a clinical psychologist in the Bay Area of California and author of a book called The Stress-Proof Brain. She explained that humans aren't wired to do complex types of thinking all the time. These executive functions are higher-level cognitive skills that let you monitor your goals and process information in order to execute plans to achieve those goals. These can include obviously challenging tasks like taking the LSAT, but can also comprise a combination of smaller challenges like meeting new people or navigating a route you're unfamiliar with, or even resisting impulses like having another cookie or skiving off work. Greenberg said, After a while, our brains automate things and take less energy. For example, if you drive the same way to work every day, that activity will use less brain energy than if you had to constantly find new routes. When your brain is dealing with an ongoing supply of new information, it must put energy into every decision, which overuses that executive function and can cause mental fatigue. 